Hello viewers, welcome to another video. What if I tell you that you can save electricity and reduce electricity bill by simply controlling the speed of your ceiling fan? Isn't it amazing? Most of the time we don't care at what speed our ceiling fan is running, whether it is used independently or in conjunction with the air conditioner, we can still save quite a bit of energy by simply playing with the speed of the fan. So I will prove this concept theoretically with the help of some basic fan laws. First of all, I will tell you how we can control the speed of a fan. A fan is a single phase induction motor in which the electromagnetic torque, which is a rotational motion produced by the electromagnetic forces is directly proportional to the square of applied voltage and for the fan type load the load torque is also proportional to the square of the speed it means that as the speed of the fan changes the force required to rotate the fan at that speed also changes but to rotate the fan at this speed both the torque must be equal Therefore, we can also equalize V square and N square or we can say V square is directly proportional to the N square or applied voltage is directly proportional to the speed of the fan. So here we can see that the speed of the fan can be changed by changing the applied voltage. So how we can change the applied voltage? We can do this with the help of an electronic regulator. This is the electronic circuit of the electronic regulator. I will simply brief the working principle of this electronic regulator. In an electronic regulator, the RMS voltage across the fan is controlled by controlling the firing angle of a trike and the firing angle of the trike is controlled by changing the charging time of a capacitor. So if we want to change the speed of the fan, we need to change this value of resistance, which in turn changes the time required to charge the capacitor. In this relation, VRMS is inversely proportional to this time constant. It means that early the firing of the trike, the higher is the VRMS. And, and if there is more delay in the firing angle, there will be low VRMS. So as the VRMS is increased, the speed of the fan also increases. So now we understand how can we increase or decrease the speed of the fan with the help of an electronic regulator. Once we know how to control the speed of the fan, now let's come back to our original question which is whether it can save energy and reduce electricity bill or not. For that we have to refer to the third fan law which is also called the power law in which the power is related with the cube of the speed. In this relation P2 is the power consumed by the fan at the desired speed. P1 is the original power consumed at the rated speed. Speed desired is the new set speed and speed original is the maximum speed of the fan. Let's say the total power of the fan is 100 watt at rated speed and now we want to reduce the speed to 50%. So after putting the values, the new power at half speed comes out to be 12.5 watt which is almost 8 times the power at the rated speed. So now if the fan consumes 8 times less power, it means that our electricity bill will also be reduced. So I hope you understand the concept. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.